Mary, Mama, pray for Nigeria. Mama Mary, Mama, ah, pray for Nigeria. Mama Mary, Mama, pray for Nigeria. Mama Mary, Mama, pray for Nigeria. Oh yes, Mama Mary, Mama, pray for Nigeria. Mama Mary, Mama, pray for Nigeria. Oh, we need you, Mama. A great nation like ours, Nigeria, has fallen to the mud. Who will save this great nation from final collapse? Not to be destroyed like Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh! Mama Mary, Mama, we need your prayers. The mother of the world, Mama. The queen of heaven, Mama. The queen of the world, Mama. The queen of Nigeria. Mama Mary, Mama. Pray for Nigeria, Mama. Mama Mary, Mama. Oh, pray for Nigeria. Oh, yes, oh. Mama Mary, Mama. Mama Mary, Mama Mary, Mama. Pray for Nigeria. Oh, yes, oh. Our lady, Queen of Nigeria, patroness of Nigeria, Queen of Peace, we need you. Mama Mary, help us with your prayers, Mama. Pray for Nigeria. The month of Holy Rosary is here today. October is here. Your loving month is here. We commend Nigeria into your savings. Mama Mary, we call upon your help. Help us, help us, Mama. Save Nigeria. Mother Mary, Mama, we pray to you, Mama. Mother Mary, Mama, oh, pray for Nigeria. Oh, Mama Mary, Mama, pray. Mama, pray. Mama Mary, Mama, oh, pray for Nigeria. Mama Mary, Mama. Since independent, we refuse to grow. Oh, corruption everywhere, bribery every day, tribalism everywhere, nepotism everywhere, killings every day, kidnapping everywhere, bad roads every day. Every day we are suffering. Hardship in the land, sickness everywhere. Poverty will kill us. Oh, hunger want to kill us. Who will save Nigeria? Come to our aid, Mama. Mother Mary, Mama. Oh, pray for Nigeria. Oh, yes, oh. Mama Mary, Mama. Pray for Nigeria. We need your prayer. Mama Mary, Mama. Pray for Nigeria. Oh, Mama Mary, Mama. Every day we are crying to you through the Holy Rosary. Come and help Nigeria. Every day we are suffering, Mama. We need your help, Mama. Where shall we go? Where shall we go? Who will direct us now? Like sheep without shepherd, that is how our country is. We beg you, Mama. Do not allow Nigeria to be destroyed, Mama Mary. We cry to you, Mama. Mother Mary, Mama. Pray for Nigeria. Pray, pray, pray. Mary, Mama. Oh, pray. pray for Nigeria. We need your prayer. Mother Mary, Mama. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pray for Mama Mary, Mama, Mama, Mama. Mama, 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 Mama. Pray. We need your prayer. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Mama, 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 Mama. Mama, 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 Mama,
to dear friends, my fellow Christians all over the world, fellow Catholics, let us say our rosary all throughout the days of the month of October, so that our mother Mary will come as a great intercessor to assist us in our great country, Nigeria, that is falling every day to the mall. Since independent in 1960 to date, about 64 years ago, the story of Nigeria is not good in the ears of all of us. The story of Nigeria outside the corners of Africa is so bad. We are messing up every day of our lives. Our, both our leaders and we the subjects they led, we are always messing up being ruled today by corruption, anarchy, tribalism, nepotism, economic crisis, political crisis, ethnic bigotries, mention them, kidnapping, bad governance, cause of things, and the people are crying, we are crying. It's just like the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 29 from verse 2 says that when the upright, the righteous sit at the throne, the people will rejoice. The people will be very happy. But when the wicked are ruling the nation, the people will groan, they will cry. And it is applied today perfectly well in our country, Nigeria. We are crying. Both the leaders and all of us the led. Things are not good. Things are not good. They are laughing at us. Nigeria is so blessed with both natural resources and human resources. But see where we are today. We would have been one of the greatest nations on earth. By now we should be competing with the European countries with the third world countries. They have passed us and they are still passing us on daily basis. Even our fellow brothers and sisters in Africa, all these smaller countries in Africa that should be copied from Nigeria, they are laughing at us because of bad governance, bad leadership, and many things that have besieged this great nation of ours. We are eating the dust. Only a few are rejoicing. And these are the ones that we call today our political leaders, those who are handling the, the economy of this great nation. Millions, millions of people are, are crying. They are dying every day, dying of hunger, dying of poverty, dying of sickness, dying of diseases, bad roads everywhere, high in fuel uh, prices that has resulted to hide in many, many, many things, food, Everything that is to be bought in Nigeria is at a high cost of things. Dollars, Nigeria, our own Naira could not be competing with dollars. What are we saying? Where are we going? Since independence, we have produced many leaders. Which of them can we say that this is one of our best leaders we can be proud of? Like Nelson Mandela of South Africa, Jilos Nyerere of Tanzania, and many great African leaders who have gone. Of which can we point out from 1960 down to, nine, nine, to 2024? And this is where we are today. 64 years. 64 years. I know they are still infant years for a nation to grow. But are we making efforts to surpass these 64 years? Having come out from the bondages of the Europeans, we are now in the hands of the bondages of our fellow black African men and women, those who are ruling us. We are in the bondages of all those evils that we see every day of our lives. Killings everywhere, insecurity, gunmen attacking every day, communities, many things that we buy today are all high in their prices. This is what we see in the government of the day in our country, Nigeria. 
And that is why the church in Nigeria has handed over this country in the hands of our great God under the patronage of our mother Mary. And that's why today in our Catholic Mass, the first reading today is taken from the prophet Isaiah 11 from verse 1 to 10. And then Psalm 72, in his days shall justice flourish and great peace forever. And that is our great book. And then we read the second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 2, from verse 13 to 22. We also, we hear from the Gospel of today, Matthew 2, 13 to 15, then 19 to 23. The Holy Family of Nazareth obey God, and they carry the child Jesus and flee to Egypt from the hands and the bondage of Herod, who was about to kill the child. We today should fly in the hands of our mother Mary, fleeing every day from the hands of the Herods. And so we have to watch out and pray that God should guide this nation. Jesus Christ is the hope of every nation. We have that hope that despite all that is besieging our country every day, right from our leaders to, to the lowest person in Nigeria, we are all guilty. We need to put our things in order, not just blaming the leaders alone, even the subjects, we who have been led, we have to go deep into our hearts. A change of heart is necessary. We must begin somewhere so that we can correct the ills of this great nation and move this nation forward. We have the hope that with the prayers of our mother Mary, with her great intercession, intercession every day, praying for us, praying for the, the world of evil, one day our great nation shall rise again. Let us have that hope. It cannot be bleak every day of our lives and doom. One day we shall rise above the nations. One day we shall reign. Look at since independence. Our great country we're supposed to be the giant of Africa as we term it. Nothing to show. In many areas of our life, we are failing. Although in some areas, we are excelling, but we need to do better than that. If, if we have united ourselves, if we can eliminate and knock out selfishness, if we can eliminate and knock out corruption, if we can eliminate and knock out anarchy, tribalism, and nepotism, if we can eliminate all the ills that are ruling us, if we can see that we are men servants, even if we are leaders serving others, you will see God will raise us once again to the greatest height. Second book of the Chronicles, chapter 7 from verse 14, the Lord says, If my people who are called by the, my name should humble themselves and pray and fast and turn away from evil. Then I from heaven, I will come down and listen to them. I will forgive their sins and I will restore their nation. This verse is focused on Nigeria. God is speaking to us. If we only kneel down and pray, and correct our ills, and repent, and turn away from corruption, and all that we are doing every day, the Lord will raise Nigeria higher and higher. And with our mother Mary, we continue to ask her to intercede for our country, Nigeria. Let us not give up. Let us gather in our churches. Let us gather in our families. Let us go on rosary processions every day, and cry to our mother Mary to intercede for us. She has done that done that to many countries and Nigeria too will be saved by the safe hands of our Lord Jesus Christ under the intercession of our mother Mary. Dear friends, I wish you all a happy new month and to all my brothers and sisters, my fellow celebrants of the first day of the month of October that we were born into this world, I wish you once again 
Happy birthday to all of you. Happy October celebration. Happy Independence Day. Happy, happy, happy all throughout the new month from day one to the 31st of October. May the Lord bless and protect us. And with the prayer of our mother Mary, may Almighty God save Nigeria through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads. Let me give you my birthday blessing as a priest. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are blessed. Peace be with you.